Yeah, so the title and all that, that's completely clickbait. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know you see that title and you're like, what? <laughs> well, yeah, that's completely clickbait. Those books that I'm holding are not even, like, just not even the manuscript that I just read. These are, like, all, like, super old manuscripts. Not even. <laughs> um, yeah, so, let's get into it. I'm not saying that it is not possible to write 100,000 words in 30 days. Um, I am not saying that because I just did it. Like, I literally just did that. Um, what I am saying is that you... <laughs> all right so what this video is going to be is i am about to give you some tips for setting a deadline around your project if that's if that's what you want to do and actually finishing it out working consistently and stuff like that is really what this video is about to be about um and i'll get into the whole 100,000 words in 30 days i'll come back to that all right, so the first thing that you're gonna have to do is make a plan and stick to it. Um, a tool that I know a lot of authors, including myself, have used is a tool called Pacemaker, where you can make an estimate of how many words you think your project is gonna be. You can say how much, you know, how far out, what, what date do you want to be finished with this by, and it'll break it down for you into a plan, which is not something that you can't do yourself, but Pacemaker is free and it's cool to, you know, <laughs> it's a cool little tool to use. Um, but it breaks it down into how many words you need to write every day in order to finish your project by whatever date. You need to make this realistic. Um, and again, not to say that 100,000 words in 30 days is not possible, but it was definitely not, um, easy it definitely took some very heavy dedication and so if you feel like you have that I say go for it but if if, if it's a little more shaky for you you may want to bring it down some make it a, make it a goal that feels attainable that feels feasible for you challenging still I would not I'm not saying don't make it challenging but definitely something make it something attainable so that you're not so that the stress of getting it done or not getting it done isn't contributing to you not being able to work once you have made that plan it's like okay the plan is made now you have to actually execute and so i'm gonna give some tips if i can for that one of the things that helps me the most and helps me do the hundred thousand words in 30 days is i knew what i was going to write the next day like i had it on my mind for like pretty much all the days i you know laying in bed you know you're trying to go to sleep or whatever you're clearing your mind I don't clear my mind <laughs> instead of clearing my mind I think about my characters okay what have they done so far what are they going to be doing what have I already kind of figured out in my head what have I already plotted out in my head that they're going to be doing how do I get them there from where they are now and I let that play in my head I you know I think through the possibilities I think through the different angles until whatever is supposed to be happening sticks and it's gonna like it's it's well, I can't say it's going to happen for you because I know that everybody has a different process. A lot of people do like a full-blown outline and all of that. If you are someone who does a full-blown outline, like this is the stage where you make sure that you have that done because that outline is going to be your saving grace. And if you don't do an outline like me, if you're more of like that hybrid <laughs> plotter slash pantser kind of vibe more than a full-blown outliner, then having having that playing in your head figuring out kind of the night before you're gonna get this done figuring it out what you're gonna be writing is key the last thing you want to do is sit down at your keyboard and not know what's happening you have to figure that out before you sit down and then once you kind of have just even like a loose and I don't need I don't mean you need to have all the dialogue and all of that figured out just a loose idea of okay they're going to be going out to have lunch what what else comes with that and once you have just that that little tiny you know that that little piece of it the other parts tend to flow set yourself some boundaries around not just your time but your workspace 
um, my kids are virtual they're you know they're here and all of that but like I talked about in the self-care video they know mommy is working right now like I, I, I need the quiet I need you know you, you got to find some business <laughs> of your own um, I understand that that's not you know that's not feasible for everyone you know especially if you have like a lot of people in your house or if you have very young children who you know who need a little bit more from you or if you have someone um, in your home who you need to who, who just needs more attention and care I definitely get that or if you're working outside of your home and there's other distractions but get yourself some noise canceling headphones if you can find the quietest spot that you can Put whatever you need to in your ears whatever but you need to have a dedicated workspace so that you can kind of get into that mood and get into that mindset of when I'm sitting down here I'm here to work I'm here to get this done I'm here to follow the plan that I wrote down that I have set for myself and I got blinders I'm gonna get it done overthinking is absolutely the enemy of you finishing your projects it's 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 don't, don't do it <laughs> Do not invite that spirit into your workspace with you when you're sitting down. Um, let just let it flow. Like I, I know that probably sounds so cheesy and so simplistic, but really, if even if it's like you think of something and it just feels so corny, or it feels like wait a minute, you know, really like that's like that's where it, just let it flow, let it happen. Do not stop keep writing if it's something that you need to fix later cool you need to fix it but keep your momentum going don't let some don't let the little weird you know well people are gonna think that's this and people are gonna think that's that and nobody's gonna like that and they're not gonna like it when anybody does that get all of that stuff out of your head and just write all of this can be erased and retyped and <laughs> switched over here and moved around but you can't do any of that if you don't have it actually down can you one of the things that I definitely give credit for helping me get this project done was the use of dictation software. Um, I just used my cell phone, my earbuds, Google Docs, and while I was either outside walking for my morning exercise or while I was on my exercise bike back in, um, in, in the spare room in our house, I was able to just kind of talk the project out or not. Let me, let me rephrase that because that makes it seem like like it was part of my outlining or part of my plotting process which it really wasn't like I'm literally speaking my writing out loud um, again I know that's not a thing that's gonna work for everybody especially if you're not in a quiet space um, or you're not in a space to yourself you don't want to see people see you talking to yourself or whatever but if it's something that you are able to do especially like I said being able to kind of multitask and get up and get moving at the same time it was really it's really a saving grace for me and the thing with the dictating is um, I don't know if you guys have seen people on Instagram where you have to figure out the gibberish like there's this little stuff that it doesn't make any sense unless you read it out loud a lot of your dictation is gonna look like that and so or maybe maybe you're gonna be better at utilizing it than I was but I know for me Every, everything that I wrote would be it, it would definitely need to be very heavily edited because the dictation software it doesn't always pick up what you're actually saying but typically if you read it out loud you're able to like oh that's what I was saying or it's something that just kind of helps you helps trigger your brain back into what you were saying but I would get up in the mornings and I would be on the bike for an hour and I would get 23 2200 words in just that hour and um of course again you do have to edit it but getting that done early in the morning or getting so much done at once kind of helps set the pace for my day helps set the tone for my day and so I was always like well into the chapter like by the time I was done with that I was starting my morning well into the chapter and which enabled me to get it done within the day and to round this out um, my last tip would be do, don't try to write 100,000 words in 30 days <laughs> don't do that for what um first of all you know you have to like if if you are trying to write 100,000 words in 30 days like what like what does that 100,000 word mark 
mean for you because I promise you I did not <laughs> I did not set out to write a hundred thousand words in 30 days um I didn't set out to write a hundred thousand words at all like I did not want to write <laughs> that many words but it just that's just what happened that's just what the characters required for this particular story different characters are going to require different you know different amounts of storytelling and so don't get caught up in, well, I have to write 100,000 words or I have to write 75,000 words. The only thing you have to do, and even that's subjective, but the only thing you have to do is tell the story that the characters are asking of you. The way this happened for me is I set a goal. Um, I talk, Again, I talked about some of this in the self-care video, but I set a goal that I was going to write at least one chapter every day and I was going to work out every day. And using the, the dictation software, I was able to multitask some of that. And so I was able to get a good bulk of writing done while I was getting that exercise done in the morning. And then from there, I was able to use those, the words that came about from that writing to help me with that goal of getting that chapter a day. And so that's just what it was, a chapter a day, every day, a couple of days, um, when it was just when it when it was when it was really good to me i guess i was able to get more than one chapter a day but i set that goal and i did not let myself i, <laughs> I set that goal and i did not let myself waver from it and that's where we are um it was crazy because like i knew that i had written you know a hundred thousand words but and i and i if it, it didn't feel like i had done it in such a short time until i really like went and looked and it was like man <laughs> where did this come from but again I had all these things working in concert together like I knew that I wanted to accomplish finishing a project and so I knew that I was going to need some really dedicated time with it I knew that I was going to need my family and everybody to kind of respect those boundaries that I had around it um the dictation software like I said and then again like I mentioned on the top of the video every day even when I was complaining to my friends, oh my God, I don't know, I don't know what's next. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I didn't, I didn't sit in that feeling like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm certainly about to figure it out before I sit down at this computer again. And so there we go. <laughs> again, I'm sorry for the clickbait headline. I'm sorry if you came here thinking that I was going to be like giving you some type of secrets or something like that but the truth is um as far as i know there's really no real secret to this thing other than sitting down and doing it and getting out of your own head and just getting it done and something that i didn't talk about but um I'm, i just feel it in my spirit um I, I, I did talk about you know the fact that you can edit anything that you put down or whatever but please don't think that your first draft is trash <laughs> please like i i like I don't know if there's any advice or any kind of typical writer thing that rankles me more um, because I don't I, because I don't believe that at all. I think that typically your first drafts are that's 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 the rawest version of your story. Like that's the real like that's the you know, that's what came most naturally to you. That's what you know, that that's what was in your head for these characters. And then we have these ideas about what the work should look like. And a lot of times we end up editing all the personality and all the flavor out of our words. Now, I do think there is something to be said for, you know, editing yourself for clarity and, you know, maybe you figure out a better way to say something. That's another thing that I like about the forced editing that comes along with dictation because I may have said it out loud one way, but now that I've stepped away from it and come back to it and I'm reading it back, you know, I think of more things to kind of embellish upon and I think of a different way to state something in a better way, you know, that this dialogue could go, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not suggesting that, you know, you should, whatever, whatever you put out, it should go out to the reader exactly like that. But I do want you to reject the idea that a first draft is trash. Um, because I, it's, it's, it's a, it's a controversial topic. <laughs> It's a controversial topic. Um, I do think, you know, that a lot of times def you definitely need editing. Everybody, <laughs> everybody needs editing. But I just, your first draft is not trash. Maybe it needs work. You know, maybe it needs more work than other people. Or maybe it needs more work than your other book that you wrote. But please, like, don't, don't, don't think about it like that. Don't think about it. Don't think about yourself like that. That's part of, you know, 
speaking to yourself in a positive manner and i am like way off topic right now so i'm going to let this go <laughs> but maybe i'll maybe i'll expand on that a little more in a different video but for now you know consider your tools consider your tools set some boundaries make yourself a plan know what you're going to write um and don't don't overthink it don't overthink it even the length even the deadline the, the probably self-imposed deadline that you've put on yourself don't overthink it just let it you know just just let it come like you can put some structure around it but just let it happen <laughs>